Hello and welcome back to the DIY hosting of a WordPress website. This is the fourth technical video and the fifth video in total of this video series. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how to rename your Raspberry Pi. So the default name for your Raspberry Pi is Raspberry Pi. So when you install your Debian operating system onto your Pi, this will be the name that will appear in your shell or terminal. Why would we change it? Well, the first good reason is for fun. It's nice to be able to put your personal stamp on your Raspberry Pi and change the name and make it something that means something to you. But the other reason, and one of the most important, is that if you're like me and a hobbyist and you like to have quite a few Raspberry Pis for different purposes, then you really do need to be able to easily distinguish it from your other devices. And although the name Raspberry Pi is quite evident, if you've only got one Raspberry Pi, that's probably the perfect name for your Raspberry Pi. If you're like me and I've got three, it makes sense to have different names. So I've got mine, for example, at home, mine is a Pi 3, a Pi 4 and a Pi, as opposed to a Raspberry Pi in all cases. And that means that if I'm working on all of my Raspberry Pis at the same time, sometimes I do, I can have three terminals open at the same time and I can very easily tell which one I'm looking at. Also, it helps prevent mistakes. If you've got lots of different uh, SSH connections set up with different aliases and you log into an SSH terminal, sometimes you will go on autopilot and log into the wrong one. We've all been there, I've done it many times. But having the name of your server, which will form the first part of your shell uh, after the blinking cursor, so before the blinking cursor, uh, that will be a great sense check to make sure that you, what you're going to do is in the right place. And it's a good protective mechanism to make sure you don't accidentally do something on the wrong machine. Again, we've all been there. I've definitely been there where I've gone and made some changes to the wrong server. So it's very useful to distinguish your Raspberry Pi from others uh, in terminals. The final reason for doing it is and we'll get to this when we start looking at exposing our Raspberry Pi to the internet, is that it makes your Raspberry Pi unique on your local network. So when you come to set up your firewall rules, which means um, redirecting a port through your firewall to one of your devices within your local network, having the device named clearly is really helpful. And you'll, you'll see why when we get to that lecture, it's very useful to be able to say, this is definitely my Pi 3. This is definitely my, my other Pi 3, you know, and you have a different name for each, for example. So they're the reasons we want to do it. So I recommend you do change your Pi uh, name. If you don't, um, if, you want, if you're happy with Raspberry Pi because you've only got one, that's okay. But I'd still follow this uh, video just to find out how to do it. It's actually quite easy. Okay, so we'll move on to the desktop and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we're on my desktop. And as usual, the first thing to do is to SSH into the Pi. So using our alias set up in the previous video, we type SSH Pi. And what we'll see now we've logged in is that the host name or your Raspberry Pi name is presented here. So you've got your username at and then your computer's name or host name. And in this case, it's Raspberry Pi. So we want to change this to be whatever we like. I'm going to call it Pi 3, but we can call it, you can call it anything you like. So, so long as it's unique, I, I advise it to be unique compared to any other devices you have on your local network. So two files we need to change to make this happen, and it's quite simple. I'm going to use nano as my text editor as normal, but you can use any text editor you like. So we do this, sudo nano etc hostname. So we go into the etc directory and we edit the file hostname. Press enter. And you can see the name of your Raspberry Pi is presented as the only entry in the file. So we need, just need to change that now. I'm going to change mine to Pi 3 to keep it simple. So I'm now going to save that and exit. And then there's one other file we need to change. And it's as follows. sudo nano slash etc slash hosts. And in here, we just need to go down to the bottom where you can see Raspberry Pi. And we need to change this to match the same name that we've just typed in in the hostname file. So for me, I changed it to Pi3. Control, save, exit. 
So that's all you need to do. Those two files need to be changed and then you need to reset your Raspberry Pi. So for me, I do that with sudo shutdown minus R now, and then I'll wait 30 seconds for it to come back up. Okay, so I've waited about 30 seconds, so I'll give it a go now. So SSH Pi, and hopefully when I press enter, we'll see that the name of my Raspberry Pi has changed. And there we go. So you can see down here, actually you can see it in two places. You can see it down here, as we hope to see, uh, where the host name is changed, but we can also see it here, Linux Pi 3. So there you go, that's how you do it. That's how you change the name of your Raspberry Pi. I hope you found this uh, video useful to you, and if you did, I'd very much appreciate it if you could like my video and if you could subscribe to my course. That way you'll get updates as I put out new videos on this course and any other Raspberry Pi related course, and also it makes it a lot easier for me to justify spending my evenings doing this. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.